water at their own game. A California handyman is helping hundreds of frustrated homeowners retake control of their properties from trespassers who refuse to leave. Flash Shelton wanted to help his mother sell her home after his father passed, but a squatter derailed their plans. Due to California's squatter laws, removing a trespasser can take weeks or months and can cost tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees. Police officers are also rarely able to intervene. So Shelton moved in with the squatter by having his mother rent her home to him as the new leaseholder. After confronting the squatter and installing surveillance cameras, the trespasser was out within a matter of hours. Shelton posted the entire experience on his YouTube channel, which got millions of views. Helping his mom gave Shelton the idea of launching Squatter Hunters, which allows homeowners to hire he and his team. The plan is simple. Live with the squatter, dirty the bathroom, take the best spot on the couch, hog the TV, blast music, eat their Cheetos. His business only works with squatters, which is different from a leaseholder or a tenant, even those who stopped paying rent a long time ago still have rights. A squatter, on the other hand, is somebody who trespasses and stays on the property without permission, and believe it or not, they're innocent until proven guilty. Homeowners can't simply go in and drag them out without exposing themselves to potential lawsuits. Joining me now, the squatter hunter, Flash Shelton. Flash, good to see you. Tell me about the caregiver for the elderly that you had to displace. Yeah, she, uh, she posed as a caregiver and uh, wasn't caregiving. Um, the homeowner, an uh, 88-year-old woman, fired her. Uh, the, the company that she hired her through said, uh, you know, she's fired, but there's nothing we can do. Uh, we can't help you get her out of the house. And she's been stuck with her for two years. How'd you get her out? I caught her, I caught her climbing in a window, and uh, um, that, that's a case that's ongoing. That's a, that's a recent case right now, and I'm working with social services. You know, the, the difficult ones are ones that are... She's barricaded in a bedroom. She no electricity, no bathroom. She climbs in and out of a bedroom window. So those are difficult. How about the case in Woodland Hills that the LA Times wrote about? So in some cases, uh, violent criminals, if uh, a felon, they're not allowed to live, you know, in a house with a firearm. So when I find this out, I basically move into the house, sit down with them with a firearm exposed and say, you know, we can call the police, uh, but I think it'll be a par parole violation for you. And that, that quickly gets them out because if, you know, if I'm a resident, they can't be. Flash, we've tracked the problem of homelessness all across the country, but most pronounced on the West Coast. Is this tied to homelessness? I don't believe so. In the hundreds of cases I've dealt with, um, you know, I have not come across it being homeless. I, I have a heart for homeless. My family was homeless when I was young. And uh, when I do come across homeless, I'll give them services and help relocate them. Um, but uh, no, squatters are people, they are just, you know, self-entitled, uh, you know, narcissistic uh, people that just don't care how they, how they affect other people. Are they remorseful? You know, no. I mean, uh, you know, you can see in one of my videos, I did an intervention and and he called himself a victim. I still don't get why law enforcement, I don't understand why you're needed. What? Why can't law enforcement deal with this situation? What What are the, the handcuffs uh, figurative that, that they are facing? Well, I think the main reason is because the lines are blurred blurred between squatters and tenants. And even, even though squatter laws and rights were originally adapted in the 1800s, they've kind of just blurred and become, you know, um, just in the same lines. And there needs to be a clear distinction with the law, it needs to be squatters, criminal, tenants, civil. I smell TV show. Is it in the works? <laughs> it's in the works.